and this young person, um, the first conversation I had with him, and he just told me how he's got a lot of anger issues, and um, he'd broken his hand um, from punching a door. Um, he was just very troubled, um, and lockdown had kind of made it difficult because he wasn't able to go out and see his friends, and um, he felt isolated. And then he kind of just dropped off, um, which was, you know, the only number I had was his was his mum's, because he didn't have a phone. Um, and so we managed to get in contact with mum, who then, she explained what was going on, and she had just returned to work. Um, so we had a very short phone call because she was, she was at work. Um, and she got very upset on the phone explaining what had happened. She, she just choked a little bit. Um, and just said, um, we just can't afford anything. I went to a food bank the other day and I've ran out of food. Um, we've, um, I can't even afford, afford toiletries. So I said that I would, I would definitely help. Um, and I let her know that I was going to put money in her account. Um, I got a text message from mum who was just overwhelmed by the amount that was put in and asked if it was okay if she bought um, her son a jacket from it and I said you know that's what the money's for that's for you to be able to spend and she was so overwhelmingly grateful um, and it was it was such a rewarding feeling you know to be able to help out just before Christmas um, and the young person they've got a winter jacket now they've got um, a mobile phone so they're able to actually access Zoom and not have to worry about borrowing mum's phone um, so that was one of the um, yeah was a really rewarding um, case to have.